Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. We're the Mac and 3 and today we're going to teach you guys how to do a special rig. But we're doing a little different. It's going to be over Zoom. And yeah. Yeah. So, so since since we weren't be able, aren't able to come to each other, um, we're going to be doing a split screen kind of, kind of tutorial <laughs> yeah. of how to make Sabiki rig flashers for Heron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So later, like probably maybe later this month, February and uh, March, we're going to be doing Heron fishing. So the Heron season really kicks up. And so we're gonna be showing you how to make a herring ring. So we got three ways to make them. These are the flies you're gonna need. So you're gonna need some aluminum foil, some aluminum, aluminum foil, a ruler, and a soda can. Well, there's a little bit of liquid in that one. We also got a like tin, like a grill, like a yeah. like a, um, like a grill pan. And we got the disposable one. And so we are on Zoom with James so we can communicate with each other. But you will have like camera angles with both of us. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're gonna get started with, we're gonna start off with the aluminum foil. So we got the aluminum foil here. And the way we're gonna do this one, we have a sabiki ring here too. So we're gonna show you how to uh, uh, set, up, set it up with the sabiki ring. So what you wanna do here, you're gonna want about six inches. It's about, you know, the size of your, a standard, smaller size hair. So about six inches. You're gonna want. Then what we're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap the aluminum foil around around the room like that to get that nice kind of square shape, rectangular shape, just like a herring. Basically, what a herring flasher does, if you don't know, a herring flasher is going to be at the top of your uh, of your sabiki ring. And it's gonna act like another herring. So when um, the herring are feeding, or if they're, especially when the bite is a little off and they're not eating as much. Um, the herring are going to be attracted to other herring that are eating. So for example, a lot of times if you have other herring on the line, and then you let it just kind of fight and sit there, the other herring will jump on. So you might get multiple at a time. Yeah, so basically that's just like a little thing that will attract them. It's a good, it's a pretty good need you want to have when you're fishing for herring, and yeah. So. Yeah, it's going to help a lot. So um, you wanna, now this has gotten obviously longer. So you're going to measure it up against your ruler. Cut it back to that six inch mark, about Put it right here. Now you've got a beautiful parrot flash. And what you're gonna wanna do with this, just poke a little tiny hole in the very top. That way you can uh, put it on the actual hole. Yeah, and then we have a nice sabiki rig right here that we can uh, uh, attach to the the, um, so we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna show you how to put this on in a second. All right, guys, we're back. We unwrapped our sabiki rays. We got a nice long sabiki rays, about you know three feet long. Got all these little tiny hooks on them. Show the camera here. It's supposed to imitate little shrimp. They watch the herring you're eating, and obviously they get hanging very easily. Okay, so this is the excess piece that we cut off. Move that aside. This is our actual flasher here that we completed just a moment ago. And we are going to attach it to our sabiki rig. Yeah, so obviously you're putting a weight down the bottom here. And then when you're done with all this, when you have your flashers on, I recommend um, just hanging, hanging it for a while. Just get the mono straight because it has memory. And um, obviously you should use one of these methods for flashers. Any of them are just fine. Just so yeah, you got your little flasher here. Put a little hole in it. Put a little barrel swivel up here. Like a little weight kind of swivel thing. And then just kind of. You want to make sure it's nice and uh, high up on the flasher. Keep the swivel to reach far enough down. Yeah, and like you said, those little dots on the sabiki are meant to. Um, Represent like to show like um like little shrimp. That's mainly what they're feeding on, like little grass shrimp and all that stuff. So if you ever find a spot that has those, that's probably a pretty decent spot for herring. Yeah, so you're just gonna tie yeah herring bridges, docks, stuff like that. And the best time to is January and March. So you're tying your herring bridges to the bottom of the sabiki ring. Yeah, and then you're gonna tie your bait line here. And uh, this uh, six foot rod with a 4,000 size reel and 15 pound cast brain work just fine. And basically, yeah, so you that. And uh, yeah, it's more just fine. We're just gonna kind of cast it out and bounce on the bottom of the treatment. So it's the 
same with all these flashers, and we're gonna uh, turn triangle here. Swivel right in that hole that you made. Perfect. That's exactly what I heard. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Alright, okay, next up, we're gonna be using just a little kind of soda can. This is like a sample. I kind of can't do this. This is very true. Be careful. for a harder metal than you would want to throw it. And unfortunately, this is a little shorter, that's only because you can't do it again. And the advantages are, and the advantages are of these is that they, um, they're stiffer and more likely to last. Than you know, they're not going to unravel. And, uh, yeah. But they are very sharp, and unfortunately, they are a little bit shorter, especially this, this one. It's about four and, four and a half inches. That is pretty much fine, though, because uh, the herring comes you know, from three yeah, inches to... Com. So you're just cutting it into that kind of like square shape again? Yeah. Yeah, and you might ask yourself, the paint, what, like, wouldn't that affect it? But uh, no, not really, because you have that silver side, and then you got a little bit of color on this side, which is just, which is just Yeah, like, uh, yeah, a lot of the, uh, the herring have some sort of dotting or whatever, that that could possibly imitate some sort of color could bring a little brightness out. Yeah, and you got that flashy side right there, and that works just fine. But, um, yeah, so this is a much smaller flasher compared to this, but that, that works just fine. Um, so, we're just gonna make a little hole. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Day. We couldn't, we could not complete the video yesterday, so we're just doing it now. And so yeah, we're gonna start um, at the point that we left off, which I'm um, pretty sure we're putting like what was it, the can one? Yeah. Yeah. So we got the can flasher. We completed cutting the hole in it. And so, now we, yeah, all, now we all. Have, the only thing we have to do is attach it to the CB rig, so it's all set. Last time, we're just going to. Take this, this swivel right here. You have a swivel on the right here. Just like so. And then you're just gonna close that swivel up. You wanna try to make that as high up as possible so you can just close that swivel. But um, so yeah, once again we're gonna be we would be tying our main line right to there. And then of course we'd be putting you know, the CP view is a mess because it has no weight on it, but you'd be putting your weight on the bottom here. Have a swivel here, and then same thing as last time. It's a little flasher. I'm gonna show you the third way. Okay, guys, now we're gonna show you how to make it the third way, and we're gonna be using like some tin, like tray. Yeah, like so a, a grill pan. Yeah, kind of like a grill pan here. We're just gonna cut same shape like that one. About six inches, about the width of this, so I'm just gonna cut it down. You don't want to really use the side because. So, I'm just gonna cut the edge off here. Well, guys, while you're making these, you gotta be careful because all this metal is fairly sharp, especially the can. So, yeah, just be extra cautious while you're making this. The safest way to do it is definitely the. Um, Aluminum foil because it's just not sharp at all. But if you don't have that, you can always make it out of these options. I'm just saying to be careful because no, aluminum foil is also not as durable. So yeah. So there we go. This is pretty much my favorite option because um, it's just easier to make and durable, it's a little bit flexible at the same time. So I'm just gonna make a little hole. We're going to get as close to the top as possible because 
go and get that. It's gonna be a little hard to make a hole in this one too. Oh, oh. There we go. Fairly easy. Find a little hole. Okay. Shovel. Get her Shibiki ring. We're gonna take this other. Take this one off. Can one off. Yeah, definitely it's gonna attract all that heron to come in and yeah, just like they're kind of they're attracted to that, you know, shining in the water and stuff. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna think that this is another herring um feeding on these um like mimic shrimp here. Or and little little bee, little bee fish, something like that. Yeah, so the herring will go attack it thinking that it's okay since there's another herring there, but yeah. So yeah, um, those are our top three ways to make a herring crusher. And we got aluminum foil, not as durable, but easy to make. We have can, uh, like a seltzer can, pretty pretty durable, a little sharp, you know, a little harder to make. And then we have our grill pan. Yep, we have our grill pan, kind of in the middle somewhere. And um, yeah, there's obviously many other ways to make them. And um, you can use any of that shiny, pretty much, and uh, you just gotta get this kind of shape. Attach to your hair ring, prefer preferably on the top, and put your weight in the bottom, and then you just kind of get off a bridge, a dock, anything like that, and kind of cast it out, bounce it off the bottom slowly, and uh, yeah, you might get you know one or two herring, um, you know, in one cast or a whole bunch of them, um, but uh, it really depends on the day. So yeah, we're gonna be doing some herring fishing. Probably yeah, hopefully soon. February, March. Hopefully soon. We're gonna try to get as many videos as we can. We're struggling during the winter to make videos because it's harder to catch fish. But uh, we're we're gonna try to catch some herring, maybe some bass in the future, large mouth bass. But um, for now, we're gonna do these little tutorial videos. Um, just thank you guys for watching and supporting us through the harsh winter. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this helped. So when you, if you ever want to decide to go herring fishing, you can use these and make your own little flashers. And yeah, it's really, yeah, that's the three ways on how to make some herring flashers, so. And make sure you uh, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified whenever uh, we post another video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.